Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeff Klein, director and co-director, co co-producer, and editor on Pin Up Dolls on Ice. And <laughs> I'm Melissa Mir, and I'm the co-producer, co-director, and actress in Pin Up Dolls on Ice. So, Pin Up Dolls on Ice is um, is a sequel to a film called Bikini Girls on Ice. And Bikini Girls on Ice started out as this uh, joke amongst me and my buddies maybe six years ago. We were sitting in a hockey locker room and um, we were all drinking beers after a game that we had just won. And then one of my buddies starts in on like his favorite or his ultimate sexual fantasy. So obviously everybody's ears perked up and we're like, okay, what's, what, what kind of story is he gonna tell? And he starts saying that he, he wants to get an escort, bring her to a hotel room, fill the bathtub full of ice, put the escort in the bathtub full of ice, and leave her there until she freezes to death, and then he would fuck her back to life. And everybody started laughing, and, I, and I'm just sipping my beer, I'm like, that's an amazing idea for a movie. <laughs> so honestly, that's how Bikini Girls on Ice was born. It was just like this crazy, crazy idea, because I'd wanted to do a film, I knew I wanted to do a slasher film, but I didn't have that kernel of an idea. And when, this, when my buddy told this story, I was like, that's what we're gonna go with. That's what we're gonna go with. So Bikini Girls on Ice was born. And then uh, the thing is with, with that film is that it started out as a joke amongst friends. So we didn't even know if we could make a film. Um, so we just kind of went out and did it. And then before you knew it, you know, it was on Netflix, it was on Amazon, on Blu-ray, it was available all over the world. And we were getting judged at the time against, you know, films like Rob Zombie's Halloween and stuff. And we're like, shit, we actually have to think about this and make something that is, uh, that, 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 that is a little bit more... Um, justified to judge us on. Yeah, justified to judge us on. Because, I mean, Bikini Girls on Ice, the title leaves a lot to the imagination. You think going in that you're going to get a lot of TNA, a lot of blood, and a lot of violence. And you go in and you don't get it. So uh, when we started making pinup dolls on ice, we were like, okay, well, this is, this is our chance to actually show, knowing that the film is going to be seen, that uh, we can rock this. And uh, so that's why the opening scene is, uh, it basically has everything that the reviewers wanted to see out of Bikini Girls on Ice. So, And then obviously Melissa got involved and... Um, Melissa was, you know, she didn't have any experience in filmmaking at the time, but she brought this um, motivated fucked upness to the to the film. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll let you explain what you did. Exactly. <laughs> well, what what we actually did is that we printed out every single review of Bikini Girls, and we gave it to Michael Penning, who is the writer on Pin Up Dolls, and, is, and we, we told him, like, fix this. So he basically wrote a story, very simple story. Like, we told him, we don't want anything complicated. We want a bunch of girls in a secluded location, and bad shit happens. And that's what he gave us. And, um, yeah, I, did, I actually had to f not fight with you guys, but, like, kind of like battle in yeah, order yeah, to yeah, get yeah. some some of the heavier stuff in the film where Jeff wanted the stuff but he didn't want to shoot it and I was like no we're going to show it we're going to shoot it and yeah, the, so big, I, the big talking point was the necrophilia scene yeah um, yeah you know I didn't want um, you didn't, didn't want, want it <laughs> no I, I wanted to uh, <laughs> to necrophilia I didn't necessarily want to show it because I felt like it might have been too gratuitous and I was like shut up let's do it <laughs> But then we found this, uh, this good balance and we, the way we shot it, mm -hmm. it's a little bit out of focus from the POV of, the, of yeah. a third party character. So I felt more comfortable doing it and it wasn't just, oh, here's a fucked up scene to shock the audience. It was in context that kind of worked better. Like we get a lot of people asking us, why don't you just like show like the, the, the stuff, you know? And we're like, cause it's just not our, it's just not our thing. Like, uh, we always come back to Toby Hooper's uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where he doesn't show anything. It's not in your face gore or anything like that. It's more, it's, it's alluded to, and that's what but we like. the violence is insanely intense in that mm -hmm. film. You feel like you've, 
you need a shower yeah, after yeah, the film. Yeah. And the, but the reality is you haven't seen that much. Yeah, but, but the, all the yeah, but and the, sound and the sound design, design. the music, everything, yeah. it's just it's just it gets to you and you're like, ah oh, shit. We're crossing our fingers in order to, for a release next year. So, and we are uh, brainstorming and preparing uh, on Ice Three. So, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. <laughs> when when I first made Bikini Girls on Ice, we knew that it was going to be a trilogy. Um, we didn't know where the trilogy was going to go. That's kind of the reason, if you've seen Bikini Girls on Ice, why there's no real uh, backstory to the killer Mo. Um, simply because we didn't want. I, we didn't really know where it was going to go yet. Um, it was supposed to be a joke. Nobody was supposed yeah, to be a joke. Yeah, yeah. So we're like, eh. So one of the critiques of the first film was that they wanted some kind of motivation for, our, for the killer, for Mo. So for Pin Up Dolls and Ice, we created this backstory, and now we just kind of got to, you know, keep evolving on that, because I think Mo is an interesting character. You know, I mean, the big question is, is his name even Mo? You know? Did he just kill somebody with a Mo? costume on, I don't know, you know what I mean? Well, we, maybe we know, but we can't tell anybody yet, you know? But these are things that we, we're going to explore in part three that uh, should be pretty interesting for everybody. This is a, yeah, this is a good story.